So today's lesson is on friction. How does friction affect motion? So we're going to do an investigation to try to answer that question. Now, you heard of friction, right? Yes. Yeah. It's the force that when two objects are, are going together, and typically, like rub your hands together. Go on, rub everybody, rub your hands. What do you feel? What do you feel? Friction. You feel heat, right? Yes. So one of the byproducts, yeah, try to get one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, oh I can feel the heat. So how does that friction affect motion? For example, when an airplane's flying through the air, the wings and the air, is there friction there? Yes. When a car is going down the road and the tires on the road, is there friction there? Yes. Especially if you're in a race car or your car and you're going around a corner. If there wasn't friction, you wouldn't go around a corner. You would just go straight. In fact, without friction, I wouldn't be able to stand. Because right now, the bottom of my shoe has friction with the carpet, and I'm able to push and walk, push and walk, push and walk. Can you imagine if my feet were like ice cubes and I'm walking on ice? Without friction, you could not stand. You could not walk. So friction, too much friction slows you down. Not enough friction, you can't even stand up. Oh, I bet most of you came to school in a car or in a bus, right? Do you know inside of the car engine and the bus engine, things are moving so much, they get hotter and hotter and hotter that they would catch fire or melt and be destroyed. What do we put inside of our engine to reduce friction? Anybody know? Oil. Oil. Who said that? Oil. We put oil to make things have less heat from friction. So an oil change is a good thing because it reduces friction and keeps the heat down, right? So we're gonna study friction today. Now, take. I want you to look, I'm gonna hold this up. We have a cardboard right here, right? Mm -hmm. It's got three different surfaces. It has cardboard, it has wax paper, and it has sandpaper. You wanna feel that with your hands? Go ahead and feel yours, feel it. Which one feels like more friction, less friction? What do you think? This one, I think this one. Okay, so we have some idea. This is a protractor, it measures angles. Right now, these are gonna go down, these are gonna come down. We're gonna practice on the middle, okay? So that's zero degrees. And I put my protractor at the front right here. And if I lay that, I can see that that is zero degrees. It's not been lifted up at all. There's my zero, zero degrees. Now, if I lift it up about halfway, what does that number say right there? Anybody? 45. 45. That is a 45 degree angle. See that? Mm -hmm. And this is a 90. 90. Very good. Zero, zero what? Bananas? Zero degrees. Um, degrees. 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 And what is this? 45 degrees. 45, 45 degrees in this? 90 degrees. So maybe you guys can buy tens. Here's zero degrees. Say it. Zero degrees. 10 degrees. 20 degrees. 30 degrees. 40 degrees. 50 degrees. 60 degrees. 70 degrees. 80 degrees. 90 degrees. What do you got? 90 degrees on your mind, man. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. We're going to practice in the middle. And let's hold, put that there. And you and I will be partners on this, okay? So this has to be at the front. And I want you to lift it up. Five degrees. Go on, lift it up. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. At 45, it slid down. So at 45 degrees, I would write that down. Now, look here. Do you think it's important that we do some like this and some like this, or should we do them all like that? All like that. That would be a fair trial. So we're gonna do them all like that. Now, let's try the car. Oh, I want you to do that three times. Let's do it one more time. This time, you hold that. Young man, you hold that. Okay. And we'll read them off by every five degrees. Are you ready? Zero degrees. Five, five degrees. degrees. 10, 10 20, 15, 20, 20, 20, 25, 30, 30 35. 35. Oh, that's at 35. So we'd write down 35 what? It's kind of a degrees. 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 
it first it started at 40 and now yeah you're gonna have to practice we're gonna practice in the middle first then we'll do the real test on these two do you understand that oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. let's try the car who would like to predict is it more friction or less friction more, so it's going to even go higher, you think? No, less. Less, less. means it's going to be lower? He's gonna, yes. It's going to go faster than the air I So you think that it's going to stay past 40? No. no. Well, let's find out. Ready? No. Let's go one degree. Just gonna yeah. Go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> let's try that again. Because Are you ready? Circles. Uh, uh, that's zero degrees. Let's go five degrees. Ready? Wow. Five degrees. Less friction. The wheels. Plus. And the angle and the surface, let's do it one more time. One, two, three. Five degrees. So let's try this. What do you think is going to happen here? The car's going to win. Okay, let's, 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 let's call them out starting at zero and we'll go by fives. Ready, set, go. Zero, five, five 10, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Big difference in friction. And in the two because objects. That has less okay. And that has more friction. This has less friction. That more. Yeah. yeah the, Wheels. The has, yeah. yeah. So let's go on the floor. Okay. In our books on page 97, we're going to do some trials. First, we're going to do the sandpaper, and we're going to use the car. So you can see the sandpaper and the car. You're going to do it three times. Then you're going to do the sandpaper and the eraser, three times. And then what are you going to do? The car and the wax paper three times, and then finally you're going to do the, the car and the car and the eraser, yeah, eraser and the wax paper three times. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on that. Enjoy your investigation. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, Zero, five, ten, eight, twenty. It was on fifteen. The thing. Okay. Okay. Ready, Keith? Five, ten. Stop at five. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, now we have to do these Oh, yeah. Seventy what? Okay, so we've been studying friction. And so I brought in, well, I brought in my little ramp that I made. And this ramp is kind of interesting because it has three different rails but they're all from the same height. And so we call this potential energy. They're all from the same height. I don't have one real tall and one real small. They're all at the same height. Oh, that's some sound energy transfer. I see you guys heard it, right? Now, these are all the same size. They're all the same shape. They are not the same color. So, let's see what friction should be the same on these, on the rail. But look how I designed this. This one goes fast and then slow. This one goes slow and then fast. And this one goes fast, slow, fast, slow, fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, why not? I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll shoot it like this, okay? And now, here's the deal. Would you put all three of these up here for me? Would you two help me? Would you help also? Here you go. Yeah. Take one. Take one. Take one. Okay, I'm going to put this right here by it. Don't touch the table, anybody. Set them on the rack. Now, which one, move your hands, move your hands. Which one do you think will go off the table first? This one. One, two, or three? One, two, three. Predict, predict with your finger. Predict with your finger. Okay, here we go. No Let's see. 
Move, don't touch the table, move back from the table. Move back, you're touching the table, move. There we go. Three, two, one. Yes, oh, none of them were, uh-uh, number two went first, and none of you said two, you said one or three. Right. I said two. I said two. Okay, I didn't see any two. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, oh, let's try it again. That was very interesting. Uh, turn it back up again. Incoming. Incoming, no, this is more like outgoing. All right, so let's, Anybody want to change their prediction? Hands away from the table. One, two, or three. Here we go. And we have our validator back here. Three, two, one. So, friction and movement. Here, set him up. You guys set him up. He's going to be the gatekeeper. Set him up. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Are you ready? You count to three and then release. Three, two, three. Two, two. Two. So, friction has a lot to do with how things move, and sometimes there's less friction and they move easily, and sometimes there's more friction and it slows them down. When you finish your investigation, make sure you also do the graphs and use your numbers to see how friction affects motion. All right, good luck.